Today, I'm going to show you a web free gaming publisher which could potentially do really, really well. Are you ready for that? Let's get it. <laughs> What's up guys, my name is Aaron and welcome to UX Crypto. Hope all of you are doing well out there. If you're new to the channel, then press that subscribe button right there, the red one, the gold one, whichever one you want to press, but press it. And if you like the content as we go through this and me showing you these altcoin gems, then press the like button and let me know what you think in the comments down below. We'd love to know your opinion. So with no further ado, let's get straight into the content. So the coin I'm talking about today is called Player for Games, um, spelled for free rather than a B. Um, and yeah, current price, uh, for, well, under a penny. So that's pretty good to know. Um, but yeah, obviously is rising in price and it's currently at 49 million market cap. Um, and yeah, dilution, self-reporting, circulating supply is 13% right here. So something else to note down and fully diluted market cap is 370 million, okay? But in terms of what's been going on with the price action recently, let's go in the last month. On the last month, it's gone up quite a bit. So you can see that, you know, 1,000, well, 12x basically, right? So it's something to take note of. Whether you think you're buying high right now or whether you think it will take a dip, that is what this comes down to, right? But yeah, pretty cool. But is the price action warranted? Well, let's actually get into that. So here's our first pass. So here we go. This is the game publisher. Um, and yeah, it is based on Avalanche and also I think of launched of Beam. Okay, so if you guys are really into the Avalanche ecosystem, this could be one pick for you in terms of you know gaming uh, platforms and all that type of stuff. So this could be a pick right there and here you go here's the main home page so you've got i wish i owned and could sell my own game assets now you can really like that and then yeah if you could only get paid for playing games you'd be a millionaire well now you can i like this whole thing here and it says playable games is inspired by games and funded by our community we don't answer to vcs large investors or even board of directors we answer to you i like that seeing as i'm a user experience expert I'm all about the user and I really like that statement right there. So pretty cool. And here's showing you some of them, maybe some of their partners right here. So yeah, as you can see, Avalanche right here. Um, and yeah, a couple of other partners, right? Then you've got the power of free. So maybe this is the B, um, the free, I'm not sure. The days of gaming companies ignoring the player base and not rewarding their community is over. So player or games ecosystem is made up of free groups. So master nodes. So you can actually get nodes as well, which is really, really cool. So yeah, get nodes on this. So a bit like the Miria and the Galas and all that, you can get nodes. Then you've got uh, the coin, so you can trade it as well. Uh, and you've got gamers gone game. So play and earn. So you can play and earn. Own, hold or sell your in-game assets. This coin seems to be in the media a little bit. It's obviously got a lot of different YouTubers playing it and looking at it. So that's pretty cool to know. Why playable games? So when considering cryptocurrency and companies, it is good practice to potential support, weigh, and decisions based on six critical parameters. These are factors will help expose the risk balance. So they've got market dynamics, and that is what they're paying attention to. So these six pillars offer a framework of assessing potential and cryptocurrency companies. They facilitate a comprehensive understanding of both their inherent risk and prospects and rewards before any level of involvement is decided so player for games is a tick for each of the six pillars i would like to know what those are because obviously you're talking about six pillars so let's see if we can find those out we've also got a roadmap as well so i've forwarded this a little bit so we can see so you've got you know different phases of what they're doing so updating the white paper and then marketing as well in q4 so next year you can expect marketing for this pretty cool pretty interesting to see um and then yeah you've got different game to be released so war of steel dogs of war and metaverse and obviously there's no month in that but um, yeah, you can see what they might be doing at that point. And 2025, so releases three games per year. So that is the plan. So pretty cool. You might see a lot more games coming out of this. So that was our first pass. It looks quite interesting, got to say. But, you know, we have to do our deep dive, right? And this channel is all about doing deep dives on projects. So we're going to go really, really into the research. And if you care about that type of thing, you should definitely care about my cheat sheet. So here's a little preview of what the cheat sheet involves. So here you go. This is my cheat sheet. And if you want to know about fundamentals of projects, this is definitely the right place for you. And obviously, if you care about those fundamentals, such as do they have a patent? Do they have a good team? Do they have good advisors, partners? Is the idea good? The website, is that quite good? What about the product? Is that good? Socials, 
and also the coin utility, right? So all of these right here, I've done research. It's taken me towards nearly a year to research all these different coins and it is growing, okay? So all these right here, you can see. And yes, I've done my due diligence on every single one. I'm a UX researcher and product designer by trade. So yeah, I'm using my experience in my normal day job to try and put it into all these different crypto coins, all right? If you want to get my cheat sheet, then you should join the business class tier. And yes, you can get the money ball cheat sheet right here. So get access to that. I also have buy signals as well. So you can get buy signals when I'm buying. I will let you know. And if you want to follow along, up to you. If you want to know what's actually in my moon bag portfolio, then yes, you can see exactly what's in my portfolio and how I'm playing my hand inside this market. And yeah, so many more things as well inside of here. You should definitely check that out. And if you join, I will see you at the top. So talking about research let's go into the deep dive for playable games you're not going to know what i'm scoring any of this stuff but obviously i'm going to show you so hopefully you can follow along and if you have value in it then definitely check the patreon out link in the description we are starting off with the team so let's go down that road okay so the team all right so if we're looking at these members right here we obviously see a couple of different founders here it seems like there's about six of them from what i can understand um or maybe not founders, but for example, you've got the CSO, you've got game designer slash co-founder, um, and yeah, a couple of them. So six of these people right here. Um, and these two guys seem to be related. So you've got old bull and young bull. So I'm pretty sure that they're our father and son from what I can see. And that's pretty cool. Nice little story there. Um, but yeah, what about that actual work history and all of that? So let's go into that. So we're first going to start off with Jonathan right here. So Jonathan, what is your background? This is Jonathan right here. So yeah, he's the CSO of Playable Games. And yeah, you can then see that is what he's doing full time. He's also been um, something called Chief Marketing Officer at Brand Full Marketing. So that's quite good. He's got history in marketing and Chief Marketing Officer as well at another company. And this is Melbourne Interactive Studios. So it's actually another gaming but it's a, uh, company. So look, third person shooting they're working on so um and then 800,000 in investment so yeah he's got some experience in gaming which is nice to see then the next guy so his son right here what about him so his son from what I can understand um yeah not too much experience so I think it's his first job it seems so obviously note that down as one of the founders um and yeah we've got Samuel so game architect and founder co-founder so let's look at him but also he doesn't have too much experience as well so I'm going to assume in that you know this might be one of his friend's mates maybe not too sure but um not too much going on with the actual uh, LinkedIn right there um and then we've got Amanda so the chief marketing officer right there so let's check Amanda out so this is Amanda right here and uh let's see if she's got some good experience I mean she's got a little bit of experience with business design consultant um and then she was a co-founder of real estate so she was into real estate and doing that for four years and a founder of what's this pants for kids so quite dynamic but she's been a founder before so that's kind of a pro um but yeah quite different i would say from what you might expect and then we've got the chief ceo which he's down here for some reason and the cto so let's check him out ceo right here so he's also got a company called laser vision which has been here for six years currently in dubai like two of lighting and stuff and that's pretty cool but yeah that's uh, quite interesting because he's got a couple of different things going right here but um but yeah something to note and uh it's not necessarily a bad thing he's obviously quite good with visuals so and then the next guy we're going to go into is the cto let's have a look so the cto um yeah so being a co-founder of a couple of these other places so I'm not sure what they are, but why not we just look into them a little bit, okay? So Lux Interactive. So yeah, this site's pretty nice looking as an M, but not sure. So okay, so it's got some blockchain experience. Um, but yeah, pretty basic site right there. But so there you go, that was the team. Um, but what about the partnerships? All right, let's go into that. Okay, so what we're gonna do is try and find out a bit more info. So as you can see here, they've got a couple of different partners, it seems, that we can look at. So Avalanche obviously are being a partnership with them. And I think they've actually got some integration with Beam as well. Um, but other than that, you know, you've got Bitmart. I'm assuming that's going to be an exchange. That's why they're showing that. Um, and yeah, Epic Games. So they're actually an Epic Games store with some of their games. So that's also where that you could say partnership. I don't know if it's a partnership, but where you've launched to. Um, but yeah, some some cool ones there. So what about the idea? Is this a great idea? Well, yeah, let's look into that. So, yeah, I think the idea is actually pretty cool, right? Obviously, a lot of other gaming projects like this. Um, so gaming hubs, all that. And yeah, pretty bullish, in my opinion, if you're looking at gaming hubs. Um, but yeah, so 
this is on the ecosystem of avalanche right so if avalanche is to do really really well which it actually is and there's a lot of people who are like you know bigger youtubers that talking about it then yeah this could really do well and it's already doing quite well so um yeah i definitely think it has legs got good idea behind it and obviously just looking at some of the stuff they're doing they've got obviously nodes running on this they've got you know a lot of different games you can see here which we'll go into so uh yeah i think it's actually pretty good good okay so what about the website right let's have a little review on it you might think why are we looking at the website it's because of this is where everyone's going to go if they're looking to potentially put money into it right the first place you go is the website so if you're ignoring the website then and it's got a rubbish website it's not going to pump people are not going to get behind it so yes we need to review that so website wise i mean yeah it's pretty cool i mean there is some things that i would probably change with this i think the brick branding can be better right the reason being i just see a lot of like mishmash matches of styles things like that i mean it's quite fun and stuff like that but you know there's a lot going on so you've got this like this green color here and then this bright green color black and then you know it changes on each page okay so then when you go like for example on the coin then now it's blue for example and then if you go to the team it's bright green and then you know if you go to merch it goes totally out to another store so i just feel like the site could be a bit more put together but yeah it's not a bad site overall obviously gets the message across so yeah okay so the next place i'm going is going to be the actual product which obviously the games okay so let's get into the games and have a look at the quality of these things so ones we want to look at right here is the games right so if we have a look they've actually got a couple of different games here that you can play um i think some of these are not actually out so these are coming out plan to be out but nexus is out and that's a really good sign because you know there's a lot of these other game developers or uh you know platforms or don't even have a game out all right so uh you know i think that's a good sign that they have a game out and yeah this is nexus so this is the one that is actually out you can play and uh looks very very cool it's on epic games currently on a platform of the pc i think this is windows so um you can actually play it on pc um and yeah we can have a little look at the trailer and you know the game and this is basically what you can do it's like a shoot em up third person shooting up and um and yeah from what i understand after just doing a little bit of research on it is uh you kill like you know different cat people inside the game and then you can get different skins which are basically like nfts and different weapons you can get and all of these different things you can you can sell actually right so if you are not that good at the game and you just want to buy certain things and trade them then yeah this that's another path for you, you don't actually technically have to be good at the game but um you know if you're really really good at the game you could end up getting loads as well so it's got different avenues right good for people who don't play games and also people who are gamers so very very cool here's a preview of some of the skins you can actually get so you know just uh, having a look at what they are and um yeah stuff you might want to actually get inside of the game so this is actually really interesting right so if you have these coins it seems so if you hold 108 coins to unlock ape skin so you can get that's really cool so if you had other coins inside of this game and your wallet then you can actually get different skins and yeah i think that's a really cool idea and here is some of the other games that they are obviously looking to come out with so you've got dogs of war war of steel and then you've got Ordinum, and then this game right here so yeah a couple of other games coming out which look pretty good and then for example i just checked out this one right here and um so for example i checked out this one right here and does look very interesting so so you can see that you know it's like a, a war with like robots and a bit like tanks and all that um graphics look pretty good the arena looks pretty good and uh yeah definitely pretty interesting so the next thing we're going to look at is the socials are they doing quite well inside the social media like is everyone talking about it well that's what we're here to find out so let's check it out okay so here is the socials and we've got uh playful games with twenty thousand followers right here on twitter um, and in terms of interaction, you've got 62 comments, 65,000 views, um, and then you've got a couple of other different things here. So five comments, 1.6 thousand views. Um, but yeah, pretty good engagement, but obviously could have better following. Um, but obviously bear in mind it's an early project, but yeah, we're getting quite a good engagement. So you're yeah, not too bad. So the next thing is going to be tokenomics, right? What can you do with a coin? And this is where we're going to talk about the nodes. We're going to talk about, you know, what can you actually do? So let's check that out. So with this, obviously, we've got a coin and we've got nodes, all right? So maybe we'll go into nodes first and just show you because obviously it gives you some stuff. So at the mo moment, at the current time of recording, you've got, you know, a node that you could purchase of five thousand five hundred dollars and if you buy a node, then you actually get rewarded in the token. So, for example, you can see daily coins per node. 
that is getting split out, I think, between the different people who own nodes. Um, so that's quite a good user case for it. And obviously you can validate the network and you know strengthen the network by owning one of these nodes, which is very cool. And you've got 50% node owners and then company operation. So these rewards go to this. So yeah, pretty cool. Obviously it's good to be able to get a business model as well that could make money and what does make money. So very, very cool. Um, and yeah, number of coins, the number of coins earned depending on the number of nodes that have currently been sold. There will only be 50,000 playable nodes with the starting price of $100. So obviously it's gone up a lot, it seems, and increasing by an additional 100 uh, USDs for every 100 playable nodes that are sold. So yeah, I'm assuming that is what, 500 nodes around about what's been sold then, I think. Um, so yeah, we've got about 500 nodes out at the moment. And obviously it will increase over time. But in terms of the coin, all right, that area, what can you actually do with this? So in terms of max supply, you've got, uh, I think that is 50 billion coins right there. Um, and that's the max supply. And it literally is going to be in coins are all distributed daily through playable games. And obviously got different games that you can use that in as well. So that's quite good to know in terms of the utility of it. Um, and yeah, you can use them with the nodes. You can earn as well, play to earn. Um, and yeah, it was a fair launch, apparently. So that's good to know. The utility with it, which is cool. So they've got their own blockchain, which is very good. Um, and then you've got NFT sales, microtransactions with the token. Um, you've got HODL competition. I'm not sure what that is. So participate in HODL competition where you can stake free, sorry, where you can take the token without any lockup required, earn rewards and compete with other prizes. So that's pretty cool. So if you HODL, you get potentially other prizes. And you've got different skin rewards. You've got the playable marketplace. You can buy things um, through with the token, customizable uh, PFP. What's that? So you've got customizable profile pictures. Okay, profile pictures. Express yourself unique with our community. Um, and then you've got memberships. So unlock uh, different memberships with owning the token. You've got node ownership, which I just went through and rewards and prizes and giveaways. So yeah, quite a lot of different stuff they're giving you right here. So this is quite cool. So supply and demand. So the coin is lifeblood of the whole of the ecosystem, right? So, you know, which is obviously quite valuable. So, uh, yeah, pretty good to know. So there will be only 50,000 nodes sold worldwide. So if, for example, if my math is correct, uh, you know, it's 5,000 right now, $100, and then there's only 500 right now. So if there's only going to be 50,000, we are currently, what's that? 1%. So we've got 1% of the nodes sold right now. Um, and yeah, so obviously the more nodes will get sold, the more, you know, demand it will can't be. So it's just showing you <clears throat> supply and demand, right? Okay, so there you have it. Do you think that this is a really good project? Well, if you do, surely you need to know some potential bullish targets, all right? So if you want to go to target number one, we're going to go for the current market cap of Gala Games because obviously this has nodes and, you know, Gala has nodes in the last cycle. So this is our benchmark. So let's check it out real quick and how far can we get this coin to go to? So bullish target is going to be yep, Gala and it's got a current market cap around about 650 million. So we want to try and get to that. Okay. So what we're going to do is going to get our market cap of around about 50 million and try and get it to what Gala's is currently. What we're going to do is we're going to do 50 million and we're going to times that uh, about 13 and that, yeah, there you go. 650 million. Okay. So there you have it. That is about 13 X, but not including dilution. So what if you thought it was going to be even more bullish and you're not just going to get to Gala's market cap at this current moment. Maybe you think it will go a lot higher, right? So we need another target and that is the super bullish target, right? And what would that be? That is Gala's all time high in the last bull run. Okay. So let's get it to that point. Okay. So what exactly was that? So if we go back to the market cap and try and find that. So that is 5.2 billion around about. That's where Gala went. So, you know, can we get it to go to there? So the market cap of playable games is 50 million right around about and if we times that by 100 um that gives us 5 billion market cap so maybe even a little bit more um but yeah 100x there you go dead on 100x right but not including dilution obviously that could be a little bit lower in the time that you want to sell for example but yes still really really good returns that you could make 
or out of playable games if you want to see what i scored this in my side of my cheat sheet then yes join the patreon and join the business class tier and you can get the cheat sheet okay so yeah link in the description if you like this video then give it a lovely little like and let me know what you thought of it and is there any other coins that you think i should be checking out i'd love to know your opinion and let me know what you thought of this project and if you're new here press that subscribe button right there the gold one, the red one, it is up to you. If you want to know exactly how the cheat sheet works and how it can really help you, then just check it out right here and you can find out the history behind it. And if you want to see a really good project, then you should definitely check out this one right here. But if I don't see you though, I'll see you at the top. Bam.